my channel. So today I have my boxy charm to share with you guys. This actually may be my last boxy charm. I have not decided yet. I have so much makeup now, which uh, when I was younger I was all for, but now it's kind of overwhelming. Um so I don't I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't decided yet. Leave in the comments down below if I should keep the subscription or if I should just cancel it. Have you had BoxyCharm in the past? Did you cancel it or not? And if you found a better subscription, let me know down below in the comments. Alrighty, let's just jump straight into the BoxyCharm unboxing. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me if you could just click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. Now that that's been said, let's move on to the BoxyCharm unboxing. So this month's theme is bubbles and glitz, in case you were wondering. And the first item I have to share with you guys is by the original makeup eraser, and it is their sponge. But they not only included a sponge, but also this little... I don't even know what you call it. It's like something that you put your sponge in, this little globe, and then you toss it into your washing machine and wash your sponge that way. This actually says that it's the first ever machine washable makeup sponge. And it originally retails for $18. Wow. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever actually throw this in the washing machine because for me, um, washing my makeup sponges is really easy. I just rub it up against this bar of soap and it cleans it perfectly and it's really fast. So I don't I don't know if I'll be doing this. Um, I can try it out and let you guys know, maybe on my Instagram, but I don't know. And then I'm not sure if I want my laundry detergent mixing in with my makeup. I, I don't know about that. I have no idea, but um, it's a cool idea for sure. I don't know what else I would wash in the washing machine along with this because I know I'm not going to do an entire load for this. So I, I don't know, like feel. Like a second or two. Okay, I'll just wait husband's in the bathroom so now I can all I can hear is the, the bathroom <gasps> this sponge is a little different to other sponges I've tried like if you squish it it kind of keeps its shape for just a second or two longer than normal sponges it just it feels more dense the texture itself is very nice it feels like suede and the sponge performed perfectly well it was just blended out my makeup very nicely and everything but this I, I just don't know about that's that's my only thing but the the sponge itself is really nice next up we have this iconic London blaze chaser face palette and it retails for $55 so this includes two bronzers two highlights and two blushes and I actually ended up using all of the colors on both my face and my eyes let me try and swatch some of these for you you have four of the colors swatched as you can see they swatched out really nicely but when I was applying it on my face and my eyes they did feel a little bit more powderier than I expected um, it wasn't super powdery but it wasn't like buttery smooth either um, even though that's what it claims, it says butter smooth velvety powders. I don't know how I feel about that um, because it does it does feel nice when you swatch it, but on the face it kind of looked just a tad bit chalky. And the highlight is not the best that I've used, but it's not horrible. Um, I did also use it on my eyes, and I ended up having to foil the highlight for my eyes because it just. It was looking a little dull and I wanted to kind of take it to the next level. Overall, I mean, it was all right. 
but again it, it wasn't the best i'm not like super impressed by this especially for 55 dollars. i don't think i would spend that much on this palette but um this blush is very pretty i really liked this blush and i actually <laughs> ended up mixing both blushes um a lot of this with just a dab of this bright pink and that is what you see on my face this shade i tried to contour with but it ended up looking a little bit more red for some reason on my skin tone but on my nose it looked fine so i have no idea what was up with that <laughs> but overall i mean it was okay it was not the best it was all right Definitely not $55 worth though. Next, we have the Tarte Maneater Mascara. And it says that it volumizes, lengthens, and curls. Um, and it retails for $23. This wand actually has like very spiky bristles. And ugh, I've poked myself in the eye with a similar brush before and it hurts super bad. Thankfully, I didn't do that this time, but just be careful. Just a warning. I do have falsies on, obviously, but I did want to try this mascara out, and it did really like separate the lashes very well, which I liked. Um, I think it's because of the really, really tiny bristles that this has, but I don't know about volumizing. It made my bottom lashes look really pretty, but the top lashes, this also was all right. <laughs> These are so far very meh items. Um, I don't know I, I just feel like i've had much better mascaras and that's why i'm being picky um especially for like a 23 dollars mascara i don't know i've tried out some mascaras that really volumize and that's the main thing i look for in a mascara is how much it volumizes my lashes so um this was all right it was all right i'm gonna have to give it a few more goes because this next product I'm about to mention kind of ruined the mascara for me a little bit. So let me share that with you. So this next item is actually kind of like a twofer. It comes with a liner and lashes. So this is by Glamnetic and it is their Bella Lashes and Black Liquid Magnetic Liner. And this actually retails for $63. It's very expensive. Normally I put liner on first before I put on mascara, um, but I didn't want to put the mascara on after I had my falsies on because I like to reuse my falsies as much as I can. So this kind of got onto my lashes, which were already full of mascara and then clumped it up like really bad. So that's probably why I wasn't super impressed by this because of this. So, I mean, didn't really give this a fair shot. Again, I, I will let you know if any of my opinions ever change. Always check the description box or Instagram. I always update you guys. But anyways, this eyeliner was really nice. Um, it's like a regular liquid eyeliner. It has a nice pointed tip. I did actually use a felt tip liner first just to map out my winged liner. I always do this. And then I just went over it with this um, because this is magnetic. Um, and I think that is the reason why it has such an odd smell. It, it smells like, like acrylic paint or something. Um, which I don't know. I, I'm just hoping that it's actually safe for the eyes. Again, if I have some kind of reaction to this, I will update you guys for sure. But so far so good. Um, it's not bothering my eyes or anything, but the fact that these lashes that I have on actually clip on. They literally magnetize on to your eyeballs, which was so crazy to me. <laughs> um, it made putting on eyelashes so easy. I, I couldn't believe it. I don't ever wear falsies when I go out. The only time I wear falsies is for videos for you guys. But um, other than that, I, I never really wear falsies, especially because... Ugh, you know, it's just such a pain with the glue and it's just, it's a whole ordeal for me. <laughs> so um, this was just so easy and I see like the hype about these magnetic lashes because, I mean, it was just so easy. You know, I'm 
by no means a pro on putting on falsies, but this was very nice. I, I didn't really even have to try, it just kind of guided itself almost. So that was really nice. And these lashes, they looked very, very crazy. I mean, even now when I'm looking, they do kind of look a little crazy. They're a lot thicker and fuller than I'm used to wearing. I can literally feel them brushing up against my eyebrows. Okay. Anyways, but if you're all for that super glam look, especially around the holidays, I would definitely suggest these lashes. They look so phenomenal, so easy to put on. I'm just so glad I got to try on magnetic lashes. At first I thought the band on the lashes was this thick black thing, but no, that's just a little magnetic strip to hold your lashes. These were a win for me, for sure. These are... <laughs> um, very nice, very, very nice. I think they made up for my lack of enthusiasm for the previous items. Super, super nice. And last but certainly not least is this MAC lipstick. It is actually a matte lipstick and it is in the shade Marrakesh. Very, very beautiful. I've actually never had a MAC lipstick before, so I was really, really excited for this. It is obviously the lipstick I have on right now. This lipstick is not like super matte to where it's just drying out your lips. There is a little bit of moisture, so it's not like a dead matte, but it's actually very, very nice, very comfortable on the lips. And this color is so beautiful. I love this color. Let me swatch it real quick. <sighs> I don't even know how, it's like a brick red i can just see this looking good on all skin tones <laughs> so so pretty especially during the holiday season my favorite color to wear is red for my nails for my lips <sighs> and i was just so happy to get this and i just really think it's cool that we got a mac lipstick i never in my life thought i would actually get a mac lipstick i'm more of a drugstore kind of girl <laughs> um but I, of course, am extremely excited. And I just love the bullet. I love the way it looks. Oh, it's so cute. And I think this is my, is it my first MAC product? I think this is my first MAC product that I've ever tried. And so far, so good. If I were to pick out my favorite item in the box, it would have to be between these lashes and the MAC lipstick. Um, these lashes, like I said, just, it's so cool how they just magnetize onto your eyes. And this lipstick is to die for. I love this shade. The other items, they were all right. But I mean, they weren't horrible again, but I mean, I could do without. But the box was definitely saved by the last two items for sure, for me at least. So I did the math and the overall total for this month's box is $178 which is crazy. That is about seven times the amount that you pay for the box. So this is going to make it even harder for me to decide whether I should keep my BoxyCharm subscription. Let me know what you guys think, of course, in the comments section below. Alrighty guys, so that is it for this BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your box this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. This may be my last video of this year, which is crazy to think this year just flew by and yet felt like it was in slow-mo at the same time I don't, I don't know how that's possible but i just want to wish you guys a very merry christmas and happy holidays and a very safe and blessed new year from my family to yours please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye